Well, hello, Geminis. Welcome to Send the Moon Goddess channel. If you've been here before, I want to say welcome back, Geminis. And if you've never been here before, I would like to say welcome and thank you for stopping by. And hopefully you'll stay with us. I am going to do a reading for you for September the 27th through October the 2nd. And Geminis, I just want to thank you guys because you guys have my number one video. And i like to thank you for that. If you've never been here before, we do a 10 cross. I'm sorry, a 10 card. So to cross. Oh, wow. Sometimes the spirit gives us more, sometimes less. And we never know what the reading is about until we get started. I'm not being spirit. Thank you. And they gave us two more. So we have 11. On the bottom of the deck is the temperance, and I hear the praying is is needed. Okay, but this means a balance and protection. Okay. All right, Gemini's. Before I get started, I would like to ask if you haven't already, please subscribe by punching that button right there. On your right is black lavender and white and if you press that button you are automatically subscribed and I th I thank you for that all right let's go let's get it wow the ten of wands you you're you're overbearing you over you're overworked you're you're overthinking you're overworked you you're doing a lot and you're putting a lot on your plate that that I'm hearing that don't need to be there, okay? And the world is your challenge. So you need to end something, but you know you don't want to. Your focus is love, baby. It's being that person that everybody loves. That's what I'm hearing. Being a people person, I'm hearing this week. Mm. The divine is here in your, has been with you in your recent past. Your strength is the star card, baby. So you're healing. You're feeling happy. Okay. Your future is the two of swords. You're going to have to make some choices in life. Choices soon. Okay, your approach of the week is love, baby. Is your lover. And your advice for the week. Ooh, to enjoy and celebrate. That's what I meant. Your hopes and fears. Wow. Your, your, it's a, more of a fear than a hope. Because that's um, trust issues right there is raising up and your future for the week is the ten of swords you're overthinking a move everybody's moving these days okay the signs that I see is Scorpio I see a lot of air but I think that's you Libra Aquarius, it's a lot of air on here. A little bit of water. So I think that Scorpio again. Taurus is here. That's it. So Scorpio and you. And Aquarius. But they could have that in their chart. So we're going to find out where you are right now because you got the Ten of Wands. You also have the um, the Ten of Swords. So something is definitely ending this week for some of you. Okay. The Ten of Wands, please. All right. They just put it in my hand. Wow. So it's some, it's some communication that you want and need to clarify something. And it, and it sounds like your money. 
when it comes to your money. Now, Earth just, boom, they just came in here. Taurus, Virgo, and then all of them, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, all came in here. But it's something you're gonna get. You're gonna get something, some money, unexpected money, money that you didn't know where, where it came from, and it was the divine helping you. Okay, so some money is coming in. The world card, please. We need to find out what's ending here. Wow. Maybe you're overthink. Oh, you are just overthinking so much. Maybe that's coming to the end. It is someone coming in that just wants sex from you. Nothing more and nothing less. They just want sex. And that's it. So be careful of that. If that's not what you want. Because see, that person see you as the queen of seduction. So he wants sex. Or she. It could be a woman. You know the verb could be switched. They want you to, like I said, put in some love. Show other people love. They want you to manifest that happy life you want with that money that you want. They want to hear what you, exactly what you want. Star card, please. Yeah. It's, it's a king of wands coming in now. He going to be there for a while. Let's see what sign is the king of wands. Hold up, Gemini. Let me look that up right quick. Because that king of wands. Oh, that's Cancer or Leo. Cancer or Leo. Yeah. But then this is Virgo. So, Gemini, if you're dealing with any of those signs. Yeah. If you're dealing with a king of wands, he's like so seductive and um have a lot of passion for you and you guys are gonna be together for a while a long time maybe a lifetime yeah there's celebration there's love there's there's oh it's a new person new person is coming in it could be a earth sign okay they 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 bring in in luck they're bringing in, um, they're a go-getter, like goals getter So they're going to help you with that. Yeah, new love trying to come in. But some of you are going to get engaged this week. Yeah, some of you thinking you've been working so freaking hard and nothing is coming of it. Okay, but Spirit is saying it is. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. They want you to speak up. Like I said, they want you to work your goals. There's a, um, <laughs> there is a choice for some of you guys when it comes to your, your wish. They're not saying what. They're saying tap into your, your intuition and you'll get the answers that you need. On that wish that you're. You're, manif you're manifesting. You're manifesting something, and they, and um, they said you're gonna have a choice. Love is definitely there, and it's gonna make you happy. They said to just pay, be patient. Now this seven of swords, you, I'm, I'm getting trust, 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 trust. trust. You having trust issues, Gemini? Okay. Still telling you to decide on something. Are you having trust issues? Wow, you having sex for one? But yeah, they say you are having. And it's something, it's, it's something that's been there for a while. It, it, it's you just have trust issue period it's not necessary what the person is doing I, that's what I'm hearing you having trust issues they're saying to tap into your 
to your intuition. Tap into yourself because there's passion and love there. And um, they're saying to me too, if you're getting married or you're engaged, they're saying to um, get a prenup. I hate when they tell me that. Yeah, legal. Get a prenup. Now, some of you might be getting a divorce. But the ones who are getting married, they send it to go for that prenup. Okay? So, yeah. And then they want you guys to manifest for love. They send exactly the kind of person that you want for, for that love offer. They want you to manifest. Yeah, it's some choices that you have to make and they want you to use your third eye. I know this is the tower, but this card is a little, these cards are a little bit different, but it's talking about your third eye and it's saying the choices that you make, you need to tap into your intuition and it's going to tell you, it's going to tell you exactly what you need to do. Some of you need to walk away from love. Some of you need to walk towards love. And if you tap into your intuition, you'll know exactly. But you're gonna be happy, and you're gonna you're gonna be happy, and you and, and they keep saying you're gonna heal. The grief is gonna go away, and you're gonna have victory. And I just want to leave this right there. I really do. I can't. Okay. They want you to stop overthinking because there is love coming. Some of you, love is coming. Matter of fact, your soulmate is on his way. But some of you are with your soulmate. So have patience and strength with them. All of you will be happy. But they just seem to be patient. Everybody is not going to get their love at the same time. But it is some of you are going to get love rushing in. It's just love all over the place. Love, 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 love here. They just want you to stay out your head. Mm, what did I say? Stay out your head, please. Because everything is going to be a victory. Day. Abundance. Okay? Abundance. That's all I have, Gemini. And you know, before I leave, I have to ask you to like and share this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe by punching that button right there on the right. And then, push ah. <laughs> You subscribed. <laughs> I don't know where that word came from. All right, now Gemini, tonight I'm doing a live, so hopefully I see you there. All right, Gemini, you know, you are loved. You have a lot of love. Only thing I could put for you, the title is love, because nothing but love came out of this reading. So you need to go for it, because it's, it's two chariots, so you need to go for it. It's all for you. All right, Gemini, I love you. And thank you, Geminis. And thank you for letting me read you. All right. I am Sin, the Moon Goddess. And I'm out. See you later, Geminis.